Good evening. Welcome to your Tuesday evening Facebook Live. My name is Sarah Edwards and I come to you live every Tuesday and Thursday at 7 to show you a fun new project. So today is like no other except for my surroundings. As you can see, it is a little bit different than our studio Facebook Lives. We are at our summer July retreat in Scottsdale, Arizona. And we usually don't do our retreats until Thursday, Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays, but um, the resort gave us the room for the week, so we decided to come early and get some crafting done. So I know many of you are coming tomorrow, um, a few have come today, so we have a live studio audience for our Facebook Live. Woo! So we're super excited. It is a little nerve-wracking to actually talk to people versus talking to myself in my studio or talking to my dog. So please bear with us, but if you hear embossing machines going or dye machines running, um, we are actually having a lot of fun. Dinner we just ordered. I don't know why dinner always shows up right at 7 o'clock, um, but they're going to be going down and getting dinner for us. So hello, everybody. Welcome. Hello, Heather. Hello, Monique. So I'm just going to chit-chat for a second until some of our friends log on. So behind me, obviously, are windows, and you can see we are trying to get a storm. We tried to get a storm yes, last night as well, so maybe it'll downpour tonight. But we have oops, lots of cards over here. Those are some classes that we're going to be doing, and then, oh, go this way. There's more cards and classes over on that side. So there's lots of stuff going on, and I can't wait for everybody to get here tomorrow or Thursday or Friday when you guys are coming. So... Hopefully you guys had a great day. I did. I had to run home um, yesterday and today because I kept forgetting stuff. And then my wonderful girlfriend, Vicki, started a tally, a list of things that I needed to get at home. So hopefully, cross my fingers, today was my last trip heading home. But good evening. Hello, Susan and Karen. I'm glad you guys could join. I am going to go ahead and flip you over. But first, I have to flip my camera in. I pushed it out of the way so when I was talking... Um, didn't get in the way, but I don't want to make you guys dizzy when I flip the screen over. Okay, so hopefully the lighting and everything is okay. Um, I have a super fun card for you. As usual, I think they're super fun and super cute. Um, I'm only going to show you the back of it for right now because this obviously wasn't my design either, but I thought it was perfect for us ladies. Um, we, I say this all the time, um, ugh, because adulting is hard. Um, but I thought I would use this set because I'm actually featuring it in next month's class to go. So let me bring in um, the stamp set and the dies. So this is a stamp set. It's sending hugs and the dies that match. This is what I'm going to feature in next month's class to go. The email will probably come out tomorrow or on Thursday, depending on how much time I get to work on it. But these are the cards that you're going to be making. So you'll make two of each of these. And I didn't get the envelope done for this one, but look at that. Is that not super cool, all of the glitter on it? Um, and then you have this one with the matching envelope. And then wait till you see the envelope of this guy. Is that not the coolest thing? And then I put a little strip on the front of it. So this is um, part of the class to go for next month. So I thought, why not feature something else that you can use with this set also? So this is what we're going to be doing, and I pulled in a couple different sentiments that I thought would be super cute for this saying. So the lighthearted lines, I thought, um, ugh, I'm sorry for what I said when I was hungry, literally, that is totally me. Um, ugh, when nothing goes right, go left. I thought that was cute. Um, this one is, I had to break it to you, but you're stuck with me, friends forever, totally would work. And then I put, I'm going to, we're going to do one that says get well soon. So it says, ugh, get well soon. So that is what we're going to be playing with tonight. And I am using, I swear I've used this paper so much and I'm on my second pack. You can only get this um, if you host a party or have your own party. It's the Pattern Party Designer Series Paper Pack. You get 48 sheets and it is just so fun. You get the black and white side and then the colored side. Okay, so let's get started. I did put in the measurements um, before we went live on everything you'll need, but this is a piece of basic white and it measures seven inches by five and a half and I scored it at two and three fourths. So 
So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and fold on this score line, grab my bone folder that is somewhere around me, but we might just have to pretend that I have a bone folder. Yep. Looks like we're going to pretend. Let me use the back of my right block. Here. Oh, miss, you found it for me. It's on the other table. When people don't show up to their tables until later, I venture to use their tables as well. So that's where it was. Okay, so we're going to fold that and you have a little um, gap right here. So I went ahead and cut the designer series paper. This one is one and a half inches by five and a quarter. And this is going to get layered right here. And then this piece of the designer series paper is two and a half by five and a quarter. And that's what's going to get layered on top. So while we're layering those, I will see who has logged on. So Anna logged on, Teresa, Bev. Hello, everybody. Uh, <laughs> no, Bev, I actually do have stuff on your table. So I have my ink or my cup caddy that I carry to Starbucks with me. That's on your table. Yeah, there's lots of stuff all over everybody's table. And of course mine. I had to clean my table before we went live. And you should see what's beside me. We won't show you. At least you can see right here. That's all that matters. So I'm going to lay this down and just kind of position it so you have the same, um, uh, the same width around all four sides. And we're going to put some adhesive on the back of this. And I'm going to lay this right here as well. This is a super easy and fun card to just whip together. And it literally would put a smile on anybody's face that gets this. So I went ahead and cut out of the Hippo, um, Hippo and Friends. I cut out, oh, the right here. I cut out the largest and the second largest um, for our little sentiments. So I'm going to bring this in and let's do the get well soon. So let's do this in granny apple green. So actually what I'm going to do first is bring the letters in. You should definitely glue the letters first just so you know where to position your words once you stamp, stamp them. So in the die set, it says hugs, H-U-G-S, but we are going to get rid of the S and just use the other three letters. And there was actually a lady on Facebook who um, figured out, I think, like five or six different words using these letters. So it was actually kind of cool um, to see what she came up with. But this was one of them, was the UG. And I literally say this all the time. So just gently add your adhesive. Sorry, I hope the lighting's okay. I know it's getting a little dark in here. So there we go, and let's put the H on. So we're only going to make one card tonight. I did prep a couple extra, but I think everyone's trying to be quiet while I'm doing my live, which they totally don't have to. They can totally talk, but Woo! see, okay, we have a little bit of action going on in here. We're trying so, to be super polite. Yes. So I'm going to ink up the get well soon, and I'm going to stamp this on the bottom. And you know what, while I have this out, let's just bring this one in and we can at least stamp it. Even if we're not going to put the whole card together, it'll still be super cute to see what it says. I like the one um, that says, when nothing goes right, go left. That has been my life the last couple of weeks dealing with my brother-in-law and my husband's surgery. When nothing goes right, go left. There we go. And do the H. Just make sure you spell it correct. <laughs> that would, that's actually the, probably the one thing that scares me the most is I'm going to spell something wrong. Okay, perfect. I think those look great. So this sentiment, um, when nothing goes right, go left, is actually too big for um, this piece right here. So I am just going to ink it up and bring in another card base. I know this is definitely going out of order, but that's okay. We are going to make it work. And I'm actually going to do it 
kind of cattywampus on here just to be a little bit fun. Do something a little bit different. Everything doesn't always have to be straight and perfect. And if you do it like that, then it doesn't look like you messed up. Okay, there we go. Oh, that was perfect. It literally went right on the edge. You can't even see that. And I really didn't plan that. Oh, remember all these flowers we colored on this paper and then a couple weeks ago, Facebook Live? Okay, so there we go. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and attach um, the basic black piece. So this was a tiny bit tricky, but not too bad. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip this over and I'm going to put a couple dimensionals on here. And then I am going to come in and I don't know how far it's going to go over because we don't wanna glue it together. So I'm just gonna come in and put a dimensional right there on the edge. That way it's going to make sure to hold it in place. And then just line that up and there we go. Oh, and I probably should have pushed that down a little bit since there's no sentiments on it, but that's okay. We still have something we can do with it. So we're gonna put that right there. Let's do this one really quick. I know I said we we're only gonna put one together, but it looks like we're putting two together. I was trying to do where I could use that other sentiment and I kind of messed myself up, but that's okay. There we go. Let's grab one more and we're gonna stick this right there. Take the backing off. Pick this guy up. Let's set it on there. And then all we have to do is a little bit of rhinestones. And I really wanted to use the black matted dot rhinestones, but I left mine at home. And I didn't wanna open a full new pack just for the couple cards we're doing on the Facebook Live. So I just grabbed these um, gems and I had a black um, a blender pen sitting over here. I swear it was just here. Oh my gosh. So anyway, we are going to color these with the black blender pen when I find it. And this is what it's going to look like. So you can color any of our gems, our diamonds, our pearls, anything with our blender pens, and um, it will collect that color and it won't rub off. So that's what I was gonna do. And we'll put a couple right here at the bottom and then a couple right here. So there you go. There is your on the fly Facebook Live in a hotel room with a studio audience, totally out of my elements, but we did it and we all did it together. So. Thank you very much for joining. Um, if you need anything, I will obviously be up for quite a few more hours, quite a few more days. So please feel free to reach out. And we will see a lot of you guys tomorrow, Thursday and Friday and get to spend the entire weekend with you. So I'm super duper excited and I can't wait to hang out. We'll talk to you guys soon. Have a good night. Bye-bye.